In this tutorial, we will delve into the intricacies of conducting a 1D beam analysis using ANSYS Workbench. Open ANSYS Space Claim. Check process here. Close active sketch. Create new sketch. Select plane. Select rectangle tool, define it from center. Define width and height. Beam's cross section has been created. Select surface and provide beam length. 3D beam is designed. Let's check geometrical properties. Select measure tool. You can see cross sectional area. Check length. Next, we will convert this 3D beam into 1D beam by this extract tool. Beam's cross-sectional properties will be stored automatically. You can check those properties by clicking on this icon. Area and its area moment of inertia. The geometric properties like, length, area, moment of inertia are required for conducting a 1D analysis. Next, let's open ANSYS Mechanical. Check progress. You can change display settings. Generate mesh. Turn off 3D beam view. You can see 1D beam elements and nodes. Select one end of beam. You can see its coordinates here. Constrain this beam's end. Fixed support is provided, you can see the notation. Let's define Earth gravity. This is self-weight condition for this beam. We will check the behavior of this beam by solving this physics. It's solving phase now. We can extract results once solution is done. Check deformation. Zero mm deformation at fixed support. Maximum deformation at beam's free end. Let's animate deformed shape. You can see the beam is bending in negative Z direction. Check other results. Select Beam Tool. Evaluate Results. Direct stress is zero as there is no axial load defined in this physics. Purely bending stress. Maximum stress at constraint location. Minimum at free end. Let's check axial shear and bending components. Maximum moment at fixed location. Maximum shear at constrained location. Zero at free end. Let's define path to create shear and bending moment diagrams. Select edge definition. Select beam. Observe one and two notations, and arrows sign. Select this tool to draw shear and bending moment diagram. Select path which previously defined. Evaluate results. You can see deformation, shear, and bending diagrams. For the deformation, 
free end experiencing maximum deformation. Check length and deformation value. Next, bending moment diagram. Zero moment at free end. Maximum bending moment at fixed support location. Last, shear force. Maximum shear force at fixed support location and minimum shear force at free end. This is how you can plot the main diagrams to know the beam's behavior under applied loading and boundary conditions. You can define other material properties also. Current beam material is structural steel. Let's change material and see its impact on results. Double clicks on engineering data. Click here to add new material. Select linear elastic properties and density. Define density. Select unit for Young's modulus. Enter value. Define mu. Refresh project. Change beams material. Setup is ready and we are just solving the physics. Check all results and you can compare the values by changing different materials. Change display settings. You can see two different results at same time. Thank you for watching this tutorial.